As most of you know, if you've been building these sites, these kind of SERP shaker sites for some time, uh, the number one thing, the number one problem we usually run into is indexing. I mean, there's no point in having a ton of sites. There's no point in having a ton of posts if we can't get them indexed. If they're not indexed, we're not going to get traffic from Google. So the number one concern that a lot of us have when we go into building these sites is, you know, how are we going to get them indexed? Uh, and through the years, there's been different indexing programs that's come about. Um, some work better than others, and you know, and for the most part, they all work in one way or another. It's just uh, you know the ease of use. A lot of them will have. Uh, you'll need Google accounts. You're going to need you know to run it through a certain program, and it just kind of gets complicated. So recently, I heard some um, chatter about a particular indexing program and I reached out to the developer got a chance to test it out was very impressed with how quickly everything worked was very impressed with how easy I was able to get it up and running and so I wanted to kind of make a quick video and show you how the program works what specific things you're going to need to make it work so you can go into it knowing exactly what you're going to need and what kind of expenses you're going to incur and um, and then we'll also get to see results just live on a, on a site so I just set up a site on to just build the site just right now. It's not indexed at all. Let's do a quick site search. We'll see that it's got zero results indexed. Uh, so nothing's indexed here. And I'm on a BPS right now. Um, so that's why it's showing this Google DE, but I can change it over to English, I believe. Or I should just be able to do dot com here all right so we see nothing's indexed right now and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a hundred URLs from this website and run them to the indexer now uh, normally grabbing a hundred euros could be a pain in the butt but what I've done is I've taken the SERP shaker scraper that we've got set up and just made it a little bit easier to do that so if you go to serpshaker.com forward slash scraper you can put in your URL and if you have BWP sitemaps, which is what the majority of our users use, then just leave that post part one there because that's going to be one of the sitemaps in your website. And then you can also choose how many URLs you want. I'm going to choose 100 and hit submit. And so this is immediately going to visit that site, grab the 100 URLs for me. So then I can just copy and paste these directly into the program. And so I'm going to grab those. I've got LSI, the Lightspeed Indexer, open already. I'm going to go ahead and paste that list in. There we go. Now, you do need proxies for these. Um, the When I was talking to the developer, he suggested Blazing SEO private proxy. So if you go to Blazing SEO, just do a search for private proxies and you'll be able to get those there. Uh, also, you're going to need a two captcha key to work with this. And so I know a lot of you already have gotten two captcha, maybe just from another software product that you use. Or I know I had like $25 left over in mine. So over in settings, you want to go ahead and put in your two captcha API key. Um, you want to Try to play around with the number of threads, depending on the number of proxies you have. I'm going to go ahead and go with five, one URL per session, and a pause of three seconds between each URL. These are the settings that were recommended to me by the developer, so I'm going to go ahead and go with those. Now that I've got that stuff loaded in, I'm just going to go ahead and hit start, and it's going to go through those 100 URLs and start indexing. Now remember, we did a site search over here. And it shows that it's zero results, so nothing's ended so far. Right now it shows uh, the local BPS time at 7.47 p.m. Uh, I honestly don't know. I, last time I ran it and did my test for my personal websites, I kind of just left it overnight, so I don't know how quick or it is or not. Um, so let's just go ahead and hit start. I'm gonna Once I start it, I'll pause the video. And then once I see that it finishes, we'll come back and take a look and see how well things are indexing. Okay, so I stopped the recording about pretty much exactly an hour ago. I think it said 747 down here at the bottom. 
and it's now 8.48. Uh, it says that it completed. There was a few that it didn't get to do. I see here, page cannot be submitted. Um, assuming that you can click on some of these and retry them. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and actually just go over to Google, repeat this search, and see if there are any index now. And so remember, I submitted 100 URLs. When we first did the video, there was zero results indexed. This is a brand new website, literally just launched it today, and we now have 77 results. Uh, so as you can see, it's incredibly quick how it works, very effective. I'm sure as time goes on, this will continue increasing. Uh, I have yet to test to see if you do a higher number of URLs, how quickly things get going. I typically like to keep things simple and just go maybe with 100 just to kind of kickstart things. I know that all my posts are interlinked very well and uh, you know they've got categories, they have tags, so things will get indexed but at least this kickstarts the process. Now if you follow the link below it will take you to a special pre, uh, price page that was created just for users or SubShaker so go ahead and check that out. Also, if anybody picks up the lifetime license that he has available, it's only available through the page there. If anybody picks that up, it will all, I will also give a free month of the SERP Shaker Command Center. So if you do pick that up, just send me a message and I will get you that free month. Even if you're a current member, I'll just apply credit. Um, so just let me know if you happen to get the uh, lifetime license through me. Uh, but otherwise, I think this is a great option for indexing your sites. The easiest one that I've run into yet um, with the best results because there are some other ones out there that have APIs and you can just submit online without using a software, uh, but they don't work anywhere near as quick as this one. So go ahead and give it a shot. Let me know what you think of it.